What is going on, everybody? And welcome to another Veda Memoirs. And today was another good, positive day. It didn't start out that way. It looks like we were getting rejected hardcore off the 50 on a daily. Uh, but we uh, pushed past that. We're, we essentially broke above back over the 50, back over the 20 on the daily, which is great to see. Very positive. It's starting to look like the Christmas rally. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind with SPX is we've been doing this uh, where we look extremely strong. And then the next thing you know, we wake up in the morning and we just start selling off. Now, there's still a lot of uh, different worries and concerns out there about uh, the variants, even though um, there's a lot of mixed messages that come out. It doesn't seem as bad. Uh, I think the cases and... Uh, South Africa have actually gone way down, uh, which was a positive uh, aspect to everything. Uh, yes, inflation and everything is still uh, existent and still there, very much real. Uh, but ultimately, we're going to get data on Thursday, just before uh, the holiday. The market is closed on Friday. Um, and now we're starting to see a little bit lower volume. So we might get some crazy running uh, trying to make up for that lost time, dealing with the variant, dealing with these, uh, with, with the Fed announcements. Uh, that kind of, I think that kind of delayed everything leading into uh, the rally. Uh, but ultimately, understand that uh, we are setting up really nicely, but you still need confirmation. We do not want to be breaking below uh, this 4640 mark. Uh, wake up tomorrow, and if that candle is broken back underneath that, we're going to continue to sell again. Um, again, we've had some really crazy moves. We have, we had this really crazy move down, hardly any bounce, just straight down. Now we're getting this uh, crazy move back up, uh, No, hardly no pullback. So that's something to keep in mind. And when we start seeing these bounces that break back, break back over the 50 and the 20, just like that, hardly any pullback. Uh, as a bit concerning, it could be uh, considered a higher low here, uh, based off that lower uh, low here. So that's great, but we do need to break past this uh, 147 mark, and then we're going back to retest that uh, 4750 mark. Now, that has been a, a really hard challenge, and so if we can't break that, uh, we're going to possibly be in some trouble. But I don't think we don't have. Uh, enough evidence essentially for us to sell off. Yes, we're all aware of specific things. Everybody's very much aware of inflation, very much aware of uh, the new variant, uh, but nobody is overly concerned. I mean, that's one thing, again, you have to remind yourself is that the market gets null, the market gets numb essentially over any new informa any information that it keeps getting slapped with. And so it's already heard about inflation multiple times. Yes, Powell finally confronted it about it and said, yes, we need to start raising rates. Well, I'll just go ahead and throw three on top of it as opposed to just one really late in the year next year. And so you're getting a lot of information that's getting digested and the market doesn't like it and the vol I mean, it just essentially throws all this volatility into the market. Uh, but still very bullish. There's still, again, a, there's so much money being injected into uh, the system and, and understand that uh, you're going to see – the effects of that for your years to come, right? That money it just isn't going to be a couple months and then be gone. No, it's going to support a very strong market. Uh, we do want to watch growth and make sure that, um, uh, that this is where jobs is really important to see where the job numbers are aligning because if it's not, uh, it could be a major issue there. Um, and then just getting a, a futures um alert there that we're still continuing to push up. Uh, so the market uh, may actually possibly gap up tomorrow. So if it does gap up, look for the pullback. Again, you should start seeing uh, Bitcoin starting to get a little bit more gas here. Uh, again, with inflation concerns and everything like that. So the more uh, data we get, especially on Thursday, uh, we might actually see a rally in Bitcoin over the, uh, the holiday weekend. Uh, so that's something to really watch. Uh, so your ones like coin and stuff as well, if you're not holding any kind of uh, crypto uh, micro strategies and coin would be some ones, Riot. I know people play Riot a lot. 
Uh, but ultimately, tomorrow is going to be recovery of big tech is essentially what it's going to be. Um, Tesla had a nice little pop, but it is pulling back. We want to see what happens with big tech. Uh, my biggest gauges with big tech have been Google and Amazon. If they are not pushing their weight, uh, that could be a concern that tech could possibly sell off. Again, you have to remember if there is uh, a massive amount of inflation, uh, big tech will sell off. It will normalize. And so you won't see uh, these crazy moves. Uh, but um, and then another thing to keep in mind as well is uh, your banks are looking strong. Your banks have earnings coming in mid January. Stuff is going to start setting up for that uh, right into next week is that perfect time where you're going to start seeing stuff start setting up for bank earnings, uh, which is going to lead us into the whole new cycle of earnings and big tech earnings. And you start seeing some running of these things, uh, some pre earnings run ups. And then uh, things will start stalling, waiting for actual earnings days, and then um, make whatever adjustment after that. And then we kind of reset this whole thing. <laughs> Give it about three or four weeks after earnings, and then kind of resets everything, and we do it all again. Uh, so being said, uh, still a lot going on tomorrow. Again, Google's a big one. Uh, Tesla's a big one. Amazon, a big one. Uh, we want to make sure that it holds the 3352 tomorrow. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we actually came back and retested this tomorrow. Uh, a lot of the big tech, they look like, again, straight up. So you expect some sort of pullback, but you don't want that pullback to come all the way back down. Uh, it may do that. It's a low volume. It may start pushing. You have to be aware that the market can be easily pushed with the low volume, especially if it's uh, focused fire. <laughs> Stuff could get pushed pretty good. Uh, shop had a nice move, but got rejected off the 200, expected. Uh, first uh, attempt to break something, you will get a rejection. Like I said, we did see that this morning on SPY. It didn't take it long for it to rip straight through uh, the 50 on the daily. Uh, Apple got some really big upgrades. Uh, so another really big one to watch tomorrow. Uh, see if we go back down and retest the 20. Like I said, a lot of big tech looks like it's rolling over. It wants to come back down and retest. You might get a half, um, essentially half effort <laughs> down to uh, support and then it might just rip from that point. Uh, so Fibonacci levels are really good for that kind of thing. Uh, essentially grabbing the candle bottom uh, wick of the move up to the top and um, to the top of the move and then kind of base around that 50 to 60 uh, frame is kind of where you're looking at. So essentially that bottom candle right here looking for a pullback to the 171 mark uh, for Apple to start making all-time highs again. So there's just little things uh, you need to pay attention to, especially when it comes to big tech. Uh, Moderna has definitely been taking a beating. Um, a lot of stuff is rotating in the back, back into big tech. Uh, so that's where you want to watch. Your stay-at-home plays, uh, I think, are going to start suffering again, especially with uh, the new variant being more contagious. But, again, there's not really any – cause of concern there so much so that it's going to affect the markets uh banks again looking strong i think the banks could make another really strong link up uh, before you start seeing uh, any kind of major sell pressure again watch value uh, airbnb could be another big one uh, again we got rejected off the 200 first attempt uh, see if airbnb can break back over the 166 mark uh, from that point uh, could be extremely solid moving forward uh, Nike had big earnings yesterday, uh, had a nice push up today. Uh, I don't really expect too much out of Nike, but still, still, again, always when something has fantastic earnings, you kind of want to keep an eye on it just in case. Uh, could go for another parabolic move here. AMC, I know, has been a really big one. It's had these really nice pops in the morning. If you like to play the quick scalps, you have to be very careful with these. Uh, AMC is smashing up against that 200. Uh, so you may actually see a hard reduction and sell back all the way off to the 24 mark. Uh, but if we do get a break above that 32, you can possibly see this start running and try to retesting the 50 on the daily, which is around that $40 mark. Uh, so those are ones you really want to keep an eye on. Uh, Chips MU had a monster earnings. Uh, today it did okay. It's, it's slowly grinding up. Um, LRCX, you want to kind of watch these ones and see how they do. Um, First day, second day might actually be really good. It might actually get a nice uh, pop on this up 
back up to the all-time highs, uh, essentially testing that 110 mark possibly. If you can hold above this uh, 189 mark, uh, so you're looking for that tomorrow. If we do gap up, look for it to retest that support and then see if it can continue forward. That's what you want to see in a healthy uh, bullish move. Uh, you don't want to see these parabolic moves because you get these parabolic moves. You get these parabolic moves down as well. Uh, so you definitely don't want that. You don't, definitely don't want to be holding something when you get parabolic moves like this, um, in one, especially in one day. Uh, the volatility has been absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and again, watching Tesla, I really want to see how Tesla does. Again, we broke them past a lot of support. It's really been holding roughly around that 900 mark uh, really well. It looks like it wants to come back down and retest this uh, bottom wedge. Uh, it broke out of one wedge, had a little bump, but now it looks like it might be trying to go lower. If we, it can get down around that 800, that'd be fantastic. Uh, but I don't foresee it doing that, especially with the, if this is a true uh, Santa Claus rally. Um might have some uh, big bigger moves here especially with lower volume if we do one thing one last thing i want to leave you with if we do get a lot of volume on these or if we do get some big movements off these low volume days you have to remember that when real volume comes back in it's going to reset the market and it might require a big pullback um just because the market may have gotten a little haywire since uh, essentially the big dogs have left the table uh, for a couple of days. Uh, so, so something to always keep in mind, uh, but that's pretty much what I got. So just watch your Fang stocks. I think uh, again, every, all your big Fang are going to continue to run tomorrow. Your Googles, Amazons, uh, Teslas are my primaries uh, going into tomorrow. Um, stay at home plays are going to suffer. I think uh, some value. Uh, so you'll watch your Airbnb. I think could be a good one tomorrow. Uh, AMC could be a good one tomorrow. Definitely be careful with AMC because AMC can uh, really flip flop very fast. Uh, definitely don't hold anything. I don't think anything is worth holding at this point until it proves that it can continue to run for multiple days. Right now, it's just been one day and then it dumps. Uh, so you have to be quick to take profits uh, in this current market. So if you've made it this far, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you've been already done so. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.